Hi, this is Dr. Graves from the CSUN Geography Department. This is uh, a video tutorial to help students learn how to use Microsoft Excel in order to do some correlation statistics on um, some data. So let's go ahead and get started uh, using the virtual software lab. I've already uh, logged in to the VSL and uh, for this part of the lab we're going to use uh, Microsoft Excel so uh, double click on that to open it again I'm using this through um, Windows Explorer or Microsoft Edge maybe I need to uh, permit use and um, I can get rid of this window here Go to Open Other Workbooks and click. Click on Browse. Allow uh, Access. And scroll down until you see the Geog Share Drive. Double click. Click on the Graves folder. Click on the Forensic folder. Click on the correlation folder and open the file state crime data. Once you open it, it should be here, um, open to this tab, the in class uh, tutorial. Notice that there are other um, tabs that you could possibly use. You'll use this one, the homework tab for your homework, but for this in-class tutorial, just this um, tab. The first thing we need to do is to uh, click on the data tab and inspect to see if in the upper right hand corner the data analysis tool is already activated. It is probably not, uh, if you are using the VSL. So you need to click on File, click on Options, click on Add-ins, move to the bottom where it says Manage Excel Add-ins, click Go, and activate the Analysis Tool Pack and click OK. And uh, you should notice that the data analysis toolkit is now in the upper right hand corner of your data tab. Uh, the next thing to do is to click File and Save As and save it to your uh, desktop. Um, you may see this, Permit All Access. And so the desktop in the VSL is here at the top desktop. Remember that this is not on your computer but on your virtual computer. I'm going to call this uh, file state crime data Steve for me. All right so let's go ahead and get on with the analysis. Um, there are two ways of doing uh, correlation coefficients in Excel. Um, the first of which is uh, using the standard um, write a formula type. So uh, if you go to formulas, there are these statistical functions that you can um, add in. So here's the list of them. There's a, a really large list, but since we're uh, a little more advanced, with this kind of thing, what we're going to do is um, we're just going to go to the bottom of the data and write it in. But before we go to the bottom, you may notice that it's kind of hard to see the top row um, without the, um, the benefit of splitting your screen. So here's what I would suggest you do. Click in um, cell C2 here, um, right next to the word Alabama. And then uh, you can go to uh, View and um, this way by clicking on uh, Split right there. 
And notice that now when I scroll down, I can still see my column headers. The Jedi way to do it is to, um, let's, I'm going to undo it here and uh, do it once again. The Jedi way is um, Alt Window, so W, and then S for split. Alt Window Split. And there it is, it's split. So what we want to do now is to calculate the correlation coefficient between the murder rate and all of the other variables. But before we do that, we will calculate the murder, the correlation coefficient between the murder rate and the murder rate. So we're going to look at it uh, against itself. It should be a perfect correlation, a 1.0 correlation coefficient. So type in an equal sign and begin typing the word Pearson, P-E-A-R. Notice that the uh, word Pearson appears and at this point you can press tab which will finish spelling it for you, assure that you get it right and you should click in the value the murder rate for Wyoming, which is cell E51. And then you can scroll all the way up to cell E1 or press Control Shift and up arrow. Once you've highlighted the column of data that you want to use, uh, make sure you press the F4 key which freezes everything. Now, if you're working at home from a Mac, you will have to type in the formula, as you see, with the dollar sign. So it's dollar $E, dollar $1, uh, colon, dollar $E, dollar $51. Then we want to put a comma after that, and we want to then highlight the exact same column of data once again. So now it has E1 to E51, comma, E1 to E51. At that point, you can press uh, Enter or close parentheses and Enter, and there's the result of the formula right there. It's 1. If you uh, click back on the Home tab and you want to see 1 with some decimals after it, you can do that, and you see that it's a perfect correlation coefficient. If you're on a PC, press the F2 key and you can see that it is uh, the blue box compared against the values in the blue box. It's just uh, it's comparing itself against itself. Press Control C to copy the formula and then shift and arrow to highlight um, all the cells to the right and once you have the cells highlighted that you want to copy that formula to, press Enter. And there you see the correlation coefficients between the murder rate and all of the other uh, rate. Notice that I included something called the homicide rate, which was essentially this very similar data set from the same year. If you press F2, once again, you can see how the, the Pearson formula is comparing the data in the blue box against that in the red box. If you move over, you see uh, you can repeat that process by pressing F2 once again. Note that um, the homicide rate has a correlation coefficient of 0.917, so basically 92% of the change in the murder rate is matched by a similar change in the homicide rate. Um, on the other hand, uh, median household income, which is in column H there in green, for every uh, unit increase in the murder rate, there is a unit, a 22% reduction in household income. This goes across and you see that uh, the uh, strongest correlation coefficient is there at the no high school, percentage of people without high school degrees, and then 
um, the percentage of people without a religion, as that goes up, the murder rate goes down, or vice versa. As the murder rate goes down, the percentage of people without religion goes um, up. Uh, not exactly what I would have expected. There's not much relationship between murder rate and uh, the amount of beer being drunk, uh, residential instability, uh, a small effect, and um, median age. As it goes up, the murder rate goes down, or in other words, as the population gets older, the murder rate goes down. So that's technique number one. Technique number two will require you to click on the data tab and click on the data analysis tool that you activated. So click on that. It's going to ask you which of these analysis tools would you like and we're using correlation. So click OK and our input range is going to be um, the murder rate once again. So we're going to um, just highlight this data that we um, have been using. Click on labels in the first row because that tells the software that our first row of data is our labels. And uh, we're going to allow it to put a new worksheet ply um, in our data set. So click OK and let it run. And there we have essentially the same correlation coefficients that we got uh, between the murder rate and all of the other variables. But now we also have um, the relationship between things like uh, no high school and the household income, which is uh, this intersection here. Uh, so take a while, uh, take a moment to figure out how to use this. And that ends this in-class tutorial regarding using uh, the tools uh, embedded in Excel to do simple correlation.